Hey guys, welcome back to Halo 2. We've come out of Old Mombasa and we're gonna go storm New Mombasa to try and kick the Covenant out of the city. Johnson has graciously dropped off this tank, so we are going to, as he said, jump in it, roll across the bridge, and blow up any inhuman son of a bitch dumb enough to get between us and the Prophet of Regrets. It's kind of funny how the ghosts can actually sometimes survive a direct hit from the Scorpion's main gun. That's probably just when you do it on the higher difficulties. I'm in a tank. How am I going to do that? There's a wraith up there. Oh, there it is. Can I snap it from here? War, over here. Ooh, got it. I soften him up with the tank, and he finishes them off with the rockets. I got two of them. I really like seeing the ghosts explode violently like that. They almost need to dance when they do that. <laughs> there's the carrier we're gonna try to get to. And there's the space elevator. I'm not sure if there's actually been talks about us trying to make one of those in real life. No, shoot you. Too bad I can't destroy you until Halo 3. Do you think a space elevator Another would contact. be feasible in real life? seem a lot more fragile than the ones in combat evolved. This is my third attempt doing this by the way. Hopefully by switching mics I can achieve get this episode out. Tanks are not made for sniping.
die already. I definitely don't agree with the whole removing health bars from vehicles that they had in Halo 1. It would be nice to know just how damaged we are instead of having to visually tell. Okay, sure is the what the fuck is it with you and cars in these games? They know what they did, Kagami. They know what they did. I love the code and turn Kagami plays videos. Oh, the Marines are dead. Oh. Um. It's tight quarters on the other side, sir. Use this. Oh, I didn't even notice they were dead. Can I go back can can I go back and find the rocket launchers? Ah, that'll waste time. There's one outside. Right after we get to the Gauss Warthog. I guess in the Wraith shots killed them. Snap too. Now, man. The battle rifle does pack a lot of punch. See that loading gun? That's the trigger for how to get the Scarab gun. Because if any of you have played the original, you'll know that right around the end right, area of the level is the Scarab gun. One. And one of the ways you can get it is to get one of the Banshees right, at the beginning on. of the tunnel to follow you down here and then basically try to work it through the tunnel up here and then as soon as you hit that loading point you hijack it otherwise it disappears and you've only got a tiny window in order to do it the alternative is to hijack the banshee at the beginning and then just melee hit it through the tunnel that's a lot more difficult because you have to be very careful with how much you hit it because those things those things can only take so much damage especially when you have the one skull on that allows the well, what does it say? The mass of things to be reduced. So when you man, they go further. Get his head. Get his head. Okay, they're gonna go that way. Don't freeze them again. Yes. Okay, they'll take care of them. Use your 
on the gun, Chief. This time, I'm gonna get on the Warthog. <laughs> well, if you ate, well, if you Marines were better at driving with your Boy, AI, you wouldn't have to worry about stuff like that. not great at driving in these games. Especially cats in Halo Reach. Like, she's probably the most infamous example of Halo AI sucking at driving. That got him! Sniper down! Let's go! That would pulverize you into pace if you got hit by that. Why are you driving into that light, Marine? Command post in that building. We'll need to help them deal with that scarab. I'm getting to a Cortana. Or at least I should. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, I think uh, last time I tried doing this, which was yesterday, I actually didn't get on the Gauss Warthog. We need to link Gauss up with hog. those Marines, Chief. Head for their command post. I'm talking Cortana. So I didn't get on it and just did this whole section on foot and I believe if you do that you basically break the game and these this little ammo cache here doesn't spawn in. Okay, I'll get to the marines. I got my favorite loadouts, rocket launcher, shotgun. That's basically what I use in combat evolved from assault in the control room onwards. That's what I used to use. I don't really do it much nowadays. I try to actually vary it up. Sir, Corporal Perez, A Company. CP's this way. Where's your helmet? The lieutenant got hit as soon as we dropped in. Who's in charge now, Corporal? Uh, uh Sergeant, Sergeant Banks, Banks ma'am. He's, He's up top. Come, Come on, on, I'll show, show you. you. <laughs> it's really funny how he says that. Come on, I'll show you. Reinforcements. I didn't think they'd send a spark. We got trouble. Ooh. See this look? It's terror. Marine, did I give you permission to bitch? I'm gonna shoot it as well. Get inside. Chief, hello. Oh. That thing is really starting to piss me off. <laughs> Marines, time to kill us a scarab. Yeah. Any 
anybody who's played Halo 2 knows that anytime, every time the Scarab climbs up here, it knocks down that mask thing, and it typically kills you if it hits you. And usually when it hits those Marines, it kills them as well. So, when you see it approach, get back inside. Okay, now we gotta go and chase the darn thing. Fortunately, we have a veritable arsenal up here to help us clear it out. Give me a sign. Clear out the covenants. There's also sniper rifles here if you prefer to do it that way. Good luck hitting the covenants with a on a moving scarab. Turn to an amberclad. Roger that. Status. Sir, the prophet is bugging out. Request permission to engage. Negative, Commander. I'll vector two heavies for star How long do you think it'll be before we can build spaceships that big? Space rupture the target's back. Not covenant space, but human big. The There's no time, sir. Green, Green light. Green, Green light, light to engage. engage. Yeah, look at the size difference between an amberclad and a pelican. Hunt it. Get us close. Do you think we'll be able to make something this big? <laughs> Hey, those freaking are huge. Ma'am, without a destination solution, we, we are not, not losing, losing that ship. ship. Of course, only the Covenants can make subspace portals in atmosphere. Their subspace drives are much more advanced than humans. And 
here is where Halo 3 ODST comes in. Because right now, Bucket is slowly dropping in. And that's when the explosion happens. Why an explosion happens from an in-atmosphere space jump, I have no idea. But that basically nuked the entire city. So now we're going to move on to the Covenant side of Halo 2 and start playing as the Arbiter. Or Thel Vadimi, if you prefer. Because that's who, that's what his real name was before he became the Arbiter. For those who may not be in the know of Halo lore. Needler hits. Yeah, Needler, Needler explosions. Especially when you dual wield, those are violent. Super Combine explosion. I do have to question, what the hell is that mining platform hanging from? Is that part of Alpha Halo, or is that something else? I really wish these loading screens wouldn't last so long. Give me food! Give me food! Ah. How much further must we heft this baggage? Any cell will do. I doubt he's that heavy, I'm you big crybaby. They could use the meat. Them? What about us? My belly aches, and his flesh is seared just the way I like it. Quiet! Quiet. You two the women like grunts for self the taint. He's, he's not, not meant for the jails. The higher ups have something special in mind. Yeah, I know, you're a villain, Tartarus, you and the Brutes. We all know what you and Truth were planning. Or at least what Truth was planning. I doubt the Brutes will be smart enough to actually do this by themselves. Although the Banished Brutes seemed relatively intelligent. Just going off Halo Infinite. That was a fun game, Halo Infinite. Lord as it is, according to Halo Noble fans. prophets of truth and mercy, I have brought the incompetent. You, you may leave, leave Tartarus. But I thought... And, and take, take your, your boots with you. you. Release the prisoner. I forget if this game had subtitles. At least, the MCC version. The council decided to have you hung by your entrails like and truth. your corpse paraded through the city. But ultimately, the terms of your execution are up to me. I am already, already dead. dead. Indeed. Do you know where we are? The, the mausoleum, mausoleum of, of the, the Arbiter. Arbiter. Quite so. Here rests the vanguard of the great journey. You prophets Every twisted what the Arbiter actually was. Last, each one created and consumed in times of extraordinary crisis. The taming of the hunters. The grunt rebellion. I have to wonder if, if Mercy is blind. Arbiters, Just looking at his eyes. Those look like the eyes of someone though. who's blind. Even on my knees. I do not belong in their presence. Halo's destruction was your error, and you rightly bear the blame. But the Council was overzealous. We know you are no heretic. This is the true face of heresy. One who would subvert our faith and incite rebellion against the High Council. Our prophets are false. Open your eyes, my This guy's actually telling the truth. We will use the faith of our forefathers to bring ruin to us all. The great journey is That guy was actually part this of the Covenants and those during the events of Combat Evolved. Must be silenced. This slander offends all who walk the path. What use am I? I can no longer command ships, lead troops into battle. Not that voice are, is so no. iconic. Like but Halo's voice acting is top notch. Her. They really did and a great job with it. Set loose against this heresy with our blessing. Now Thel's basically going to be reborn. What of the council? What of the council? The tasks you must undertake as the arbiter are perilous, suicidal. You will die as each arbiter has before you. The council will have their corpse. The prophets make elites into arbiters, expecting them to die. 
Ooh, that burn must hurt. That is such primitive armor. Honorable as the role might be. What would you have your arbiter do? And he just gets called arbiter. Once he goes the arbiter. When we joined the covenant, we took an oath. According to our station. Another sacred. iconic character, Artest Vadum. On the blood of our Half Joe, as some call him. We swore to uphold the coven, even to our dying breath. Those I freaking love the elites. They're the easily my favorite covenant race. Worthy of neither pity or at least Halo race. Because eventually now, they rebel from the covenant. They use our Lord's creations to broadcast their lives. Leave me alone! We shall grind them into dust. And, and continue, continue our march to glorious salvation! salvation. He has white armor, so he's an ultra, I believe. This armor suits you, but it cannot hide that mark. Nothing ever will. You are the arbiter, the will of the prophets. But these are my elites. Their lives matter to me. Yours does not. That, that makes two of us. Hmm. You know, Arch has actually used to work under Zell. Right before he got branded as inheriting. Now it's the reverse. There is no doubt. The storm will strike the facility. We'll be long gone before it arrives. Cut the cutscene yet. Warriors, prepare for combat. Okay, we're just gonna pause there because we're done so that'll do it for this episode of halo 2 we've sort of driven the covenants from earth and we're now playing as the arbiter and we're gonna go and slay some heretic covenant or just heretics whichever well they were covenants originally but now they're heretics so they're defiling the great journey so we need to go and shut them up so we'll get to that that's in the next episode, and then the following episode, we'll be introduced to a familiar, or reintroduced, I should say, to a familiar foe. So we're looking forward to that. So I will see you guys then.